your entertainment experience, please put on headsets. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Long ago in a distant land. What is up to the few and fun renegades out there? I hope you're all doing well and practicing social distancing. It's your boy Sway, and we are back with another video. I'm not for long intro, so let's get into it. Colder than the month coming after May. Money talks, what you niggas really want to say. I desert snake niggas, now I'm getting cake. Woo! Every nigga love a fat ass. Every blunt and retail. Long ago, in the northern province of Zambia, where the town of Ipika is today, existed the village. This village lived atop a hill called Musakani. And on this hill, there also lived a monkey, a very troublesome monkey. The people that lived in the village didn't like this monkey because every time it came around, it would cause nothing but trouble. And every time they tried to catch it, they would simply jump into the trees and escape. One day, the spirit of the mountain appeared before this monkey and offered him a deal. If he could jump out of his hand, the monkey would become king of the hill. And if he couldn't, he'd have to leave the hill. And of course, the monkey accepted. And so, the monkey winds up for the highest jump he'd ever do in his entire life. And he leaps from the hand of the spirit, swings through a few trees and lands a 10 out of 10 on the ground and then finally looks up to the spirit and asks where is my crown and the spirit replies silly monkey my palm my being is part of this hill to jump out of my hand is to jump off this hill you have not left this hill therefore you have not left my palm goodbye my nigga <laughs> safe to say that throughout our lives we come across different scenarios and different situations. Things like responsibility and work. We decide whether we're capable of handling the pressure. When we first hear about what needs to be done, we gauge ourselves. We measure our capabilities and it's from that point on that we know whether we can handle the task ahead or not. Whether we like it or not, all of us usually overestimate our abilities at one point or another in our lives, and that's just the truth. And the only time when we realize this is when it's too late, when backing out is not an option. A job has to be done, and you're the person who's agreed to do it. You're committed, and that's regardless of whatever happens, you're going to do it. When and if you fail, it will be at that moment that you realize that you are essential. The weight of the responsibility coupled with the lack of foundation of capability means that all of this comes crashing down on us. We don't lose because the task was too hard. We lose because we didn't understand what we were being asked to do in the first place. We feel sad, subpar, weak. And this is what arrogance is. Imagine our feelings as a result of our own misjudgment. Simply put, arrogance is failed confidence. The only difference between the two is that one ended in success and the other not so much. People will call you confident when whatever you do are set out to do ended out in success and people will call you arrogant if whatever you set out to do ended in failure. At this point, it's clear to see exactly what we're talking about. Look before you leap. Before jumping, take a step off that high hill you're on and look at the bigger picture. After all, anyone who's confident was once arrogant. What is up to the few and fun renegades again? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Took a while to get around to animating this video with the world as it is as of the moment, but we pulled through and I hope everybody pulls through with watching it. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.